I'm Jam Cinder. And this is day two of the competitive tournament at Level Up Expo. opportunity here to try and answer back but still down by eight it's not going to be the situation you wanted to be in and it's going to be 10 kills up now for vvs as we go into 50 seconds left on the clock here and it's looking like vvs should take this one spot the lead 10 kills in 40 seconds probably not going to happen as vvs makes an even harder lead to come back from it's going to be 54 closest player on the board spot the lead sitting 12 kills behind now And it looks like he will be the one taking it. Five seconds left. He's going to look for maybe one last kill here. But that should be the end. And that will be it, guys. BVS takes this one by storm. Winning it by 12 kills. Very nicely done. Second place going to go to Spomp Elite. And we will have, I believe, SIA there finishing with third place. Actually, SWAT managed to grab it in the last portion of the map. So SWAT will be the number three there, SIA number four. So very good game, guys, to start this one off in the semifinal. VVS, though, was just a dominating performance there, 57 and 24. Still within reach, but uh, it's not over just yet. Five minutes on the clock, still more than enough time for anyone to pull their way back in the lead, even some of these uh, middle players such as JTF and Commando sitting there with 27 and 28. They still have time to get back into this one as well, but BBS making it very difficult. Still sitting at 40 though, it's been a little bit since he was able to pick up a kill as SWAT is now starting to close in. Just four kills from tying this one up with the lead. And that's going to be VBS finally picking up a much needed kill, but it's only going to be one before he goes down. And Swan has now closed this to a four kill gap between first and second place. So VBS is going to have to make the most of his lives if he really wants to hold on here. But Swan and VBS both going to go down in their lives without a kill, but now. It is going to be SIA picking up two to try and close the gap on SWAT. VVS though finally starting to pick up some kills as well and widen the lead gap once again. Up by five, VVS still dominating here. But SIA has actually tied things up with SWAT, so this is actually a very close net battle for the top three positions here. They're all now within six frags of each other as VVS is going to be taken down by SIA. SWAT picks up one. Now SIA is actually going to be in second place now, but VVS is still holding on to this lead. Four minutes left, up by five. He's gonna have to make this gap a little bit wider if he wants to comfortably take this one. actually hitting 60, so very, very aggressive scoreline here for VBS. He's now up by 10, making this gap even harder as we go into the last minute and a half here. It's going to be 11 kills ahead for VBS, just making this incredibly difficult for anyone to catch up. Picking up a triple kill, VBS is just showing no signs of slowing down. He's going to hit the 75 or 70 mark here in this match. He picks up the double kill, picking up this M4. He gets another triple kill. VBS is just completely on fire, guys. Up by 17 now as we go into the last minute of the game. VBS is just 
pretty much on fire and unstoppable at this point. It's going to be pretty hard for even SIA to try and catch up now. Down by 15 in just one minute. It's going to be pretty much VBS written all over this final. It's really going to be a fight for who's going to get that runner-up spot. VBS is definitely going to be secure here as the winner with 73 and 39. Maybe he can pick it up and get us 75 kills here on the board. He's got 10 seconds left to do it. He's at 74. He's going to fall. That should be guys, as we will have a small fight for second place, but it will go to SIA with a nice score of 58. And that'll be the top three. VVS in first, SIA in second, and SWAT in third, respectively. Very nicely done across the board, but in the end, VVS just proved to be the more dominant player here on the map.